Now you want to tell me just what the hell is so important? Sleeping mother. Sacred harbinger. Awaken and reclaim what is yours. You who rise with the moon in darkness. Who prepares the path for the midnight sun. Turn your merciless eyes upon us. And arise! Nice show, Doc. Next time, call Zemo. Better yet, I'll just shoot you and save us all the trouble. I can feel it, Rox. Trouble in the air. More innocent blood joining you soon. <laughs> Head back to your magic castle. You ain't welcome here. It's called a sanctum. And welcome or not, this is where fate has determined the Sorcerer Supreme needs to be. Hell, fate answers no. This is the secret guardian you dragged me 5,000 miles to meet? Who's the mouth? Mr. Stark is brash, but I assure you, he can be trusted. Wait, you seriously don't know who I am? The fabric of magic is shifting, Johnny. The prophecy of the Midnight Sun is upon us. Your last crusade cost me plenty. This time, I intend to look after my own. Hey, pal, I don't think you understand. Things are changing. Two plus two no longer equals four. Up is sometimes down, and strange here is actually starting to make sense. Do I look like someone who gives a damn about any of that? No, you look like you should be bouncing for the double deuce. Listen, all I know is hell's coming, and my pal here says you can help. That's where you're wrong. Hell's not coming. It's already here. You're welcome, Robo-Man. Uh, Iron Man? It's okay. It's fine. I know what he meant. And the old man runs off with that precious page of yours. Uh, could have at least left us some VIP passes for the carnival. Maybe blown up a few monsters on the way out? Johnny Blaze has sacrificed a great deal for this world already. I am certain he will come around given time. Well, she said time was the one thing we didn't have. Uh, all right, let's just wrap this up. I've got sand in my nanopolymer weave.
get that looked at? Am I really gonna have to bring out the big guns for this? Interesting tactic. We'll have to deal with a few more, I'm afraid. Let's proceed then. may be a marvel of technology, but it's no match for the mystic arts. Allow me to demonstrate. Also, it's a contest now. Then you take the extra creepy one. Gladly. situation, all things considered. Now that I have their attention, perhaps a blessing is in order. Something... Protective? Well, I could give you a hand, or a shield in this case. In the spirit of cooperation, I'll accept your offer. Just this once. Huh, don't mention it. Let's give it a go. This as miserable as possible for you. Fair warning. This won't end well for you. Find a new line of work.
to go first. I think we pissed them off. Got a spell for that, maybe? Interesting. A spell to change the very demeanor of our enemies. Something along the lines of the psionic manipulations of Eros of Titan? If you can't make it happen in the next ten seconds, I'm not interested. Here we go. Deceived by Lilith, and it may very well cost you your life. Just try throwing a big rock at him? Watch first. Being honest, that encounter went better than I expected. Tony, I've been noticing a recurring gamma spike. You see, this is why you shouldn't eat spicy food, Bruce. Localized in the West Village, converging on the Sanctum. Wanda. The collective works of the universe's greatest sorcerers, and he left them underneath the takeout menus. Mystical polarities are wreaking havoc on my portals. You don't say. You okay, kid? Yes. Are you? Let's uh, put a pin in that. Oh. Carol. Bruce and I have been trying to reach you. He'd have come himself, but he's... Oh, you did the big green guy proud. I really showed up my homeowner's insurance. Miss Maxim, the wards of protection, if you please. Stephen, I can fight. I've got control now. Then show me by activating the wards. In the meantime, in honor of our missing companion, the rest of you may feel free to smash away. We serve until the end. There's still time for you to run away. 
Nice one, Carol. Always the direct approach. You know I don't mess around. Besides, we picked up some crazy gamma readings coming from, well, here. Guessing that explains the high dragoons and ominous green lights. Yes, but not while you fail to use the front door. Um, hi, how about we discuss proper hero landing etiquette after we take down the bad guys? Shouldn't take too long.
of Davenport was at least a century old. What a waste. about so far. These guys just keep showing up. They are surprisingly relentless. In any event, we must provide Wanda the time she needs to activate the wards of protection. strongest heroes, right? Doesn't it seem like this should be easier? I've punched through scroll star cruisers that went down faster. Something's up. Yes, Hydra has clearly raised their game. I have a terrible suspicion as to how. This won't end. Someone. Gozer? Lilith. Mother of demons, harbinger of the Midnight Sun. Prophecy or not, you overstep. Challenging the Sorcerer Supreme. Be silent. Be still. What just happened? Ow. Be gone. No! A fellow daughter of Transia. You remind me of my own beloved. Invertus Davis. 
Shanti! Well done, Miss Maximoff. Your unique energy surprised her. Whoa! I'm fine. What? I'm fine. The prophecy is in motion. Lilith is still out there growing stronger each second the Midnight Sun approaches. Define stronger. If we are to have any chance of stopping her, there is only one option left to us. I won't go back there. We all must eventually face our demons, Miss Maximoff. However, one of us should remain behind to maintain the wards of protection. See you on the other side. Magic is unwinding. We are fortunate to be here at all. And where is here, exactly? Salem, Massachusetts. Well, a pocket dimension in Salem, Massachusetts. Oh, suburbs. Nice. Welcome to the Abbey. Home of the Midnight Sun. What the hell is this? Lilith's Junior Demon League? Wait, it's that jerk from TV. Which one? Now, if everyone would just take a moment... Enough! You're standing on my flowers. Oh, been a long time, Sarah. It's caretaker now. If I could have avoided this moment, I would, but... Oh, spare me the speech. I know Lilith's back. We're sisters after all. <laughs> Guess we're suddenly invisible now. Shall we chat, Stephen? No one can argue that the Hunter earned their rest in the first battle against Lilith. I only hope they are up for the task once more. You wizards always make everything sound so lofty. I raised my sister's only child as a weapon against her. And saved the world in the process. Now you want me to dig them up and ask them to do it again. I did not write the prophecy, Sarah. Besides, I am no common grave robber. We are simply reuniting their ethereal essence with their corporal form. Speaking of, it would help to have a mental image for the procedure. Spare no detail. Spiritual identity theft is no laughing matter.
of those who beseech the end. The caller! Wait! spells are concerned, I see worse. Particularly on myself. Tony, come on. It's perfectly safe. That thing wakes up and takes a bite out of you. Don't blame me. Visiting hours are over. You can't stay here forever. There's nowhere else I should be. Just saw that Stark guy poking around behind the mirror table. Find me as soon as they awaken. And Blade. Be nice. Always am. with every breath. Has it been so long? I know this place. In my dreams it was always empty. Sense. I am not alone. Have to admit, Hunter, you make one hell of an entrance. Guess that makes two of us. You should have struck when you had the chance, vampire. You will not live to regret your error. Cute, and caretaker told me to be nice. Relax, Slayer, I'm a friend. You just don't know it yet. Yes, I saw you with Sarah before. But what would she want with a vampire, unless... The name's Blade, and I'm no ordinary vampire. I get you've been out of commission, but I thought you noticed since we're having this little showdown under the freaking sun. A dampier. Daywalkers were a myth, even to me. Says the half-human, half-demon monster hunter. I do, and I must admit I'm curious. Tell me, Daywalker, how did you come to be? Long story, and it's still not over. We managed not to kill each other for a while, and maybe I'll tell you one day. I accept your challenge. Right. As much as I'd love to see how much weirder this conversation can go, we should probably get moving. Agreed. The prophecy is in motion. I can feel it. We have wasted too much time here already. Man, the others are really going to love you. Others? Yeah, you've got a little fan club, I think. But why spoil the surprise? Hope you're up for the challenge, chosen one.
I definitely helped, but no, that's the one thing I can't do. You were never able to raise the dead. Huh? But she just did. Maybe the hunter wasn't all dead. Some part of them had to be alive, otherwise my spell wouldn't have done anything. Which makes sense, I guess. Sounds like a reach to me. Huh, <laughs> coming from a vampire who loves to sunbathe at the pool. Half vampire. Half dead hunter. Either way, wouldn't count on that working again. Yes, we know. Just trying to help. How? By keeping an eye on things out here while the big wigs decide the fate of the world inside? Someone has to babysit the kitty table. Babysitting or not, you realize they still have you out here with the kitties, right? Oof, ouch. Can I help you? Hunter. Not sure if you remember me, but we met briefly before. I'm... The witch who called me back from the grave. Told you. Or Nico, but either works. And this is... Robbie Ray is. <laughs> oh man, never thought I'd be standing next to you. Got quite a rep. I mean, caretakers told us. Stories. That's Ileana. Brilliant. And I think you already met Blade. Of course. Caretaker has reformed the Midnight Suns. Whoa. How did you... Your power. I can feel it. I always do. So... Welcome home. I guess we... I never left. Right. Well, we can fast forward through the tour then. The Abbey is still, well, you know, the Abbey. Basic stuff. Dorms, war room, library, a few places to chill, and, uh, whatever the hell the forge is. I have to say, for a haunted transient castle raised on the cursed grounds of Old Salem, it's pretty cozy. Of course, that doesn't stop us from adding some improvements. We can all thank Robbie for the Wi-Fi. Oh, and one more thing. We've got some new house guests now. You think we're a fun bunch, just wait until you meet them. Speaking of, we're here. Yeah, okay, spend 10 minutes in this place alone, Bruce, then see. Oh, gotta go. She's about to begin. Crazy indeed. Lots of new blood around here. Some seriously powerful headliners. Powerful, yes. But how powerful, we will see. Big personalities, too. I think you mean big egos. But none of that matters unless they can help us get to Wanda. So that was Lilith, huh? She has a real 90s album cover vibe. 1690s, maybe. Hard to believe she's the hunter's mother. Resemblance dwindles when one is twisted by Cathan's power. Whose power? Cathan, the Elder God. Is Cathan the Elder God of metal bands? Uh, no. Tony, read your briefings. Relax, I'm just spinning him up. You think now's really the time for that? I nearly broke my hand on Lilith's face. She didn't even flinch. The more dangerous the foe, the funnier I get. 
That's debatable. You following me, Doc? Maybe you should go introduce yourself to the young'uns. I'm sure they know of the Sorcerer Supreme, and I wasn't following you. How long have you two been sharing a room now? A day? Oh, I don't know. What do you say, Doc? Six, seven hours? Six hours, 43 minutes, eight seconds. And counting. Wow. And you're already bouncing off each other like an old married couple. Careful now. You're gonna make his cape jealous. It's a cloak, not a cape. And it definitely wouldn't be jealous of you. I'm calling it now. You two are gonna be best friends before this thing is over. You should probably go talk to Caretaker. I think she's already got plans for your first mission. Shouldn't you be hunting or something? <laughs>